Hello baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Danganronpa V3, Sword Stabbing Box. Okay, these things in magic shows always amazed me, uh, and still do, and I know there's tricks to it, but there's just like, I don't know, even in cartoons they used to love when they used to like do the cut and the box in half and stick in the swords, and it's a gag that gets me every time. I literally just saw Looney Tunes um, clip on uh, Twitter recently. And I watched the whole thing because I was like, oh, I love this gag. This is so funny. Every time. <laughs> I don't know what else gets me. Uh, that's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords but comes out fine. No. It's not a trick. That's one of those space type spells. Huh? Space type? <laughs> well, that sounds like a high ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space type spells. No average mage can handle them. Mm, so, in other words, you couldn't just be a mage, you'd have to be a sage. You need the worlds of words of wisdom for that. So we give someone able to follow all of that. So we have sword stabbing box, body salt, yeah, these things as well. I love them. Maybe it's because I had such an interest. One of my favorite episodes of um or favorite, you know, ep I guess string of episodes in Yu-Gi-Oh! was when Yugi fought Arcana in um Battle City. I love Battle City Yu-Gi-Oh. It's one of the best arcs. And, and actually, I would say, to me, it's the best tournament arc I've ever seen in a show. And he fights this dark, kind of like, magician-type character called Arcana. And Arcana, like, is so flamboyant. And he's all of his cards are directly kind of like, like this. And Yu-Gi-Oh has a bunch of cards like this, too. It, I don't know, it just works really well for me. I love it. I love it. Um, Cauldron. Very typical again. Uh, um, what is this? It's a huge cauldron like the one a witch would be stirring in a children's book. Ew. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. Huh? Mana? Hmm. Don't you know? It's a necessary energy source for magic. I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Hmm. Mm, ether. Uh, mm, the names are diff different depending on the uh, school magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm. Is that so? So we have then the guillotine, or guillotine. Uh, this is a guillotine, right? Um, if you know, sometimes in like one of the weirdest things about my vocabulary is that like, and I've noticed it only in editing, is that like I will change back between each word, like tomato, tomato, or like I will say gauge or gauge, root or route, like. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just because like, like, I I don't say those words enough. To have a preference. <laughs> Same with guillotine, guillotine. I don't say enough to have a preference. And you guys don't either, I'd say, but uh, some people probably do if they're working with um, gauges or gauges every single time. Um, I know it's uh, just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Um, we have the shawl. This looks just proper dangerous. <laughs> it's a huge shawl. This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about um, the tricks being stolen. Sumugi didn't fin- uh, Sumu Sumugi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but... Uh, okay. Right. I can really feel it now, just how bizarre the situa situation is. I'm sorry, but yeah, like, the killings, it's totally okay to, like, suspect the killings- Oh, there's a mirror as well. To suspect the killings would happen again. It's a totally normal thing to think about. It's a huge water tank, I wonder if this is a magic trick too. Is that everything? No, there's a freaking outfit over here. Monitor. Is it everything? I think I clicked on everything, right? Will they just let us leave? Yeah, okay, you can just leave whenever. This is just you exploring the place. So I'm guessing that they probably want you to go into every single room. So the first place we discovered was with that thing there. And it makes sense that Samugi and Himiko were in the right that place because they were kind of exploring this area going like, oh, what can we find here? Maybe a shovel we can find here. Um, but there's nothing down here. We, we already established that. Crazy. Crazy that we are now Shuichi. But, like, again, it's it's an interesting way of doing it, you know? It definitely is an interesting way of doing it. Um, I don't know. Did Ultra Despair Girls come out first? Because I guess then um, that would have the first female protagonist, wouldn't it? But I guess if you're talking with the mainline Danganronpa games, for sure they don't have a female protagonist in... Can we buy stuff? We, I already checked here. You can't buy stuff in the school store. Um, yeah. Yeah. It depends on what you want to, like... You know... 
I guess, not argue, I guess what you want to like make a point of saying like which is like the mainline games, which isn't. They're all canon, but definitely if you're talking about like the, the killing games, there hasn't been a female protagonist yet. <laughs> and that's just the truth. So I guess we're are we going down. Okay, fair enough. So I guess we might be able to go up then or outside. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird because I don't remember where those mysterious objects either. Oh yeah, there's definitely something here. Look at this. Look, all the dwarfs are here. Actually, no, I didn't mean, I meant to, I was going to do like a thing where I was going to call them like creepy, uh, cutie, you know, strongy, uh, you know, dependable. But then I remember that like Ryoma is very short and I don't want to make it seem like I'm insulting him. That just came out. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't want to make that joke. Like it wasn't intentional is what I'm saying. So I do apologize to poor Ryoma. Um, Jeez. so you finally decided to raise your head. What? I actually kind of like Ryoma. Um, at first I was kind of disliking him just because he felt like he was always bringing up like really dark stuff and like always like taking control in every conversation due to like his past. But like I actually do think he's pretty sensible at times. Up till yesterday you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? Even when you look, had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. I can't deny that. However, this world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful, don't let your eyes deceive you. right. Yeah, you're right, thanks. <laughs> Sorry for the unsolicited advice. It's okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, Ryom was cool. Speaking of cool, here's a guy that's not cool, but he's awesome Listen. anyway. What I wonder, does Monokuma wish for us to do? Huh? Sorry, what I wonder, does Monokuma wish for us to do? Uh, what do you mean? I cannot fathom the reason he would give us those items and make us search the school. Now that I think of it, the school regulations didn't mention searching the school. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. The rule is indirectly urging us to search the school. Yes, I suppose that is true. What will come of our search, and how will everyone react to it? I shall closely observe each of them as well. <laughs> yeah, so they are. Th this is a thing that happened in, in, in Danganronpa. 1 and 2 as well, where they kind of like wanted us to explore more of the school. This is where we have to put the thing, by the way. Is it the orb? But there's already an orb there. Oh no, in the eye maybe. <gasps> wow, there it is. I, I forgot about that. How are you doing, Kyokichi? Always slaying with the outfit, by the way. It looks awesome. Well, I knew you'd come back to check this area. The dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. It does, isn't it? What are we going to find, though? Hey. Shuichi, uh, is there anything Gonta can do? Please say so. Let's put it here. The ocarina. Oh my god. <laughs> but what's it going to- yeah, this is going to reveal another part of the wall. This is an interesting way of doing it, too, because remember I actually said, I was like, man, there's, there's going to be no, like, hidden areas. I was like, there's going to be no hidden areas. And here we are. Part of the wall is gone. Whoa, it's so cool. We can get past this wall now. All right, then charge. Yeah, of course, Kiji charges right in. Wait, charging is dangerous. That's your that's your your owner, your boss. I forgot to talk to Kurumi. Um, Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing. But I feel a stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time? Exactly how long is a long time? Yeah, that's a good question. You staying behind, guys? Probably pretty smart. Let's go. You staying behind, Kurumi? Oh, there's someone behind here, too. Wait, who's here? Oh, it's me, girls. How are you doing? Is there something else here you want me to put here? Let's talk to him anyway. Hey. Do you have time to stop? Hurry up and find a use for all that junk. Oh. She didn't ask me as if she wanted to talk. She's like, do you have time to stop? Hey! Did you bust your boy, Cherry Virgin? <laughs> At this point, like, we're trapped in the school in a birdcage. We have to accept who she is, you know what I mean? How's it feel to walk right now? 
Oh, no answer, I guess. I guess it is probably... And again, that's a pretty awkward question to ask someone. And again, by the way, none of anyone's business uh, at all. Um, it just caught me off guard. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared for anything that Mew says. Ever. I think you guys are fully aware of the two. Oh, look at this. From the door... From the look of this door, this must be an ultra research lab. Alright, let's go inside. Let's see who it's for. We guess who it's for right away. It is an ultimate maid lab. It is for Ganta. Wait, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? This room gives off an antique vibe. Oh, they're dolls! These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, uh, era hmm? Jack the River was from the time, correct? Okay. That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. Well, I guess he would know about, like, if you're, like, someone who's, like, so into, like, classic detective work, one of the biggest things would be an unsolved, like, uncaught criminal, wouldn't it be? Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, so this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem perfectly suited for Kurumi. I don't know if I want to go closer to them. How are you doing, Kurumi? Do you like this place? Is this nice for you? In the Victorian Mary's servants lived beneath man the manors in which they were employed. They were known as downstairs people as a stock reminder of the lowest station. Yeah, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Excellent. Victorian. This groom is quite tasteful. I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Hmm. Yeah, me too. I see. It appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Koreko closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. The era is, the ninth, is 19th century England. A gentleman who has pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey! That sounds like a platform of a manga for girls. <laughs> is that so? Then you are saying I am like some young love-struck girl? <laughs> so that's how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I mean, like, he's taken that, like, really well as well, you know, because, you know, there's plenty of characters in the game who be like, I'm not Goyle. I'm not Chum Goyle. Okay, so let's just take a look at the stuff we have to explore. So all the stuff from the table. I guess just the table. This is all the giant table, perhaps a family dinner. This is my research lab, and I presume these figures represent those, uh, those I must serve. Is that it? Is that all? Oh my god, look at this guy sitting down. Oh honey, I've had a tough day. You know what I might do? I might, I might just have some crumpets. Oh honey, will you have some crumpets? You know, we don't talk like this in the Victorian era. This is just a Calvin's voice he used to do for Ace Attorney Chronicles. Ace Attorney Chronicles? What the hell was that game? I never heard that game. It's really cool. Calvin got a lot of crap for making fun of the pacing. and But in the end, he thought it was a really good game. Give it like an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10? That's way too much, I think. I would have given that game a 2 out of 10. But you never played it. Exactly. I'm a Redditor. I just want to get honk into this battle. <laughs> Honey, you know what? This is probably annoying some viewers. He's like, get on with it. Yeah, it's probably annoying some viewers. Oh, it did. Yes, honey. Where's dinner? Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry, guys. Wait, investigate all your reward. Okay, sorry. Um. Oh, here. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. By the way, I watch Reddit stories every week. Like, there's not like there's really good people on Reddit. Like, uh, I think it's just a joke. You know, it's just a joke, guys. Um, it's just a joke, okay? I actually, I think I've used Reddit like 10 times in the past week, usually when I'm looking up something as well. It's like, usually like, oh, um, you look up on Google, you're like, oh, um, how to find thing in game when I'm stuck and everyone on Reddit like has an answer. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Oh, oh my God, there's like washing machines. You do not need that many washing machines. Instead, there's a bunch of laundry ma uh, machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. Their appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Cleaning? 
You mean the school uh, cleaning? You mean the school groom? You don't have to do that. Yeah, you really don't have to. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Self-devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not t I take monetary payment. I will, I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Nutella sandwich would be n nice, actually, if you don't mind. Can we look inside? Oh, we can. Okay, cool. There are lots of washing machines in here. Is that it? Okay, cool. Oh, dead. Yes, honey. Why is he leaving? I think he's had enough time in here. Oh, dead. Oh, no, that's serious. You know, Calvin's doing Dog and Robber V3. Yes, honey. Why is it 200 parts long? Uh, because he decided to talk in a British accent for some dolls for like 20 minutes in one episode. Oh, all right, it seems like he shouldn't have done that. Seems like he shouldn't have. Wait. Hold on a second. What the hell? Wait, I thought we broke down this area. How did. How did freaking Atua girl get in here? How did Angie get in here? Huh? Okay, let's go. How on earth did Angie get in here? Angie, how did you get in here, girl? Praise Atua, how are you doing? Yoo-hoo! Shrishi, we've been waiting for you. Hurry, hurry, we're all ready. Hurry for what? This? Treasure chest, open up the treasure chest. What's in the, what is this, a treasure chest? We found a treasure chest, why don't you open it, Shuichi? Huh? What's gonna be in here? Really, should I open, I should open it? I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the same sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. All right, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest. Huh? Oh, was oh, this a flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Yoo Maybe try turning hey. it on? No, that's too dangerous, we should inspect uh -huh. it. It'll be okay, even the flashlight is saying turn me on. Turn me on, hurry up and turn me on. Shuichi, it's be it's begging you. Uh, if, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well then. Huh? Meaning we halfway? Bye, Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bye, Anara. Huh? Angie snatched the flash off me and ran off in, in, with a bounce in her step. Wait, inspect how? So. Angie has a flashlight. I'm sure I don't need it. There's a stairs here as well, which is very strange. What is this? A butterfly room? No, this is a strange door. This might be an ultimate research lab. Based on design, it could be the ultimate entomologist lab. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the velvet room. Would you like to fuse your personas? Ugh. Look at all those bugs. Insect specimens lined in on the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This paradise! I suppose you should keep my opinion to myself for now. Yeah, you should. 100% you should. How are you doing, Ganta? You like it, we like it. Amazing! Amazing! Ganta wonder how many bugs there are. Ganta's so excited he get its own special room. Mm. Who make this room anyway? Ganta needs to say thank you. Huh? Probably Monokuma. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's Monokuma and the Monocubs. Huh? Wait, no way! Monokuma! Yeah. But no person who likes bugs can be bad person. Ganta, sad. So let's see what we have to look at here. So the, obviously there's arranged books. There are obviously bug books. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Wow, that is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Lots of larvae and eggs, and they even uh, sleep in a cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated? What? It's okay. Eggs probably uh, probably hatch if gone to take good care wow. of them. We'll do your best then. If all these uh, hatch, there will be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs is in, in a new world is like Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals begin. Perhaps that's a little too dramatic. It's actually pretty cool though, isn't it? Like, for what it is. Oh yeah, we leave already. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Like, it reminds you of the Resident Evil room, you know, we have to do the bug puzzle. We have to take the tail off the, each of the bugs and like rearrange them and unlock a door. It's really cool. So we have to find um, Angie Atua, wherever she's gone. She has the flashlight. She can do whatever she wants to her. 
Looks like I can get to the third floor from oh, here. Oh my god, it's a little scary, but I'll try. Yeah, it is ter terrifying, I guess. Like, it's a whole new area. But I guess now we'll figure out, like, how they got here. Like, how did Angie get here? I guess she just probably followed us through the wall, maybe. Like, that probably makes more sense. There's a lab here as well. Ultimate tennis student, probably for Ryoma. What's going on here? Hmm. Based on signing back the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab? Uh, what would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. Ryoma just in here, like, boogieing the night away. This, this is... seems a bit... like... favorable to Ryoma. Like, I would love to use this room too, Ryoma. Can I come here? An entire tennis court. This is impressive. Ryoma's gonna be like, when I was in the clink, um, we played tennis all the time. Uh, this is your lab, right, Ryoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. Hm, I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis? Hey. Ryoma, are you telling me you're going to you're not gonna play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who plays that hoity toity sport like tennis? Sure. Oh that's right, I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't ya? I threw away my it's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so when you killed a mafia with your badge with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago? A mafia? Wait! Hey, come on, Mew! What was that? What? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I just go straight to a different prison. So it'll be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at the tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? I'm glad we didn't say that loud. Are you crying, little bitch? Cause you're acting like a little bitch right now. Mew. What's with the staring? You're scaring me. Yeah, totally, like, again, like we said a million times over, this girl is totally in defense mode all the time and her best defense is an offense in her mind. A tennis and it's stretched tight and looks sturdy. Anything else we can look at? In here? Little... Oh, okay, I, I thought this was a poster. Wait, what? This over here? Shower room. Okay, let's go. Is there a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. A shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You've already got the perfect height, Ryoma. What? <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around to face Shuichi. That's killer eyes from Ryoma. I'm just kidding, I thought you'd laugh. And like, I totally get like, again, you know, from the perspective of like the characters in the game, like, I think they're tolerating me you right now. And for me, like, I, I, I'm pretty, like, not... Um, I think what she's saying is pretty horrible most of the time. Uh, I get caught off guard and sometimes it makes me laugh. But at the same time, like, I totally get that, like, if some people are like, Hey, this, this girl just sucks. Like, she's awful. Um... What's this? Oh, just flowers. Like, I, 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 I don't know, I, I don't think I have time to really be upset with characters. We need everyone we can get. Hmm. What's this? It looks like a door. I see it's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think it's a pixel art. Oh, it's a video game world. I love video games. I used to play video games all the time. The last video game I played when I was a kid was ColecoVision uh, Lab. From the looks of this door, this must be the ultimate research lab. I have no idea what kind though, so I just take a look inside. As I reach for my hand for the doorknob... Stop it. I'd not give you permission to enter. Huh? Yeah, you tell us, Maki. You tell us. Ah, oh, Maki! Is this the ultimate child care... child caregiver's lab? You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. True. You're right. Goodbye. Ah. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? Uh, no. Huh? What? Well, there's no rule against people going inside each other's labs. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. What's going on? Hey! Hey, what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tip right now, are you? <sighs> See? Thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. Because... You hear that, Shuichi? An annoying brat has showed up all because of you! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So? so what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff that makes a girl upset, you know? Uh, um, okay, I understand. Um, good, then stay away. If you try to go inside, it will be extremely painful. For you. You tell me. You tell me, Maki. Top 10 character, Maki. Top 5 character, Maki, really. I can't get over how cool the outfit is, Kokichi. It's really cool. 
Well, you know. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know. But, but still, doesn't it bug her that she won't let us in? I wonder why. No, not really. You know, she can do what she needs to do. It's her life. And it's now or never. She ain't gonna live forever, you know? Uh, that's my philosophy on it, you know what I mean? There's no reason to upset her. There's no reason to make her angry. You know, if we need to explore there later, you know, I'm pretty sure we can convince people to let us explore there. Or, like, maybe convince her to let us explore there if we need to, you know? It's not like it's gonna be like, like, if someone dies and we need to, and it's, it, 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 it's someone died from her room, it's not like she's gonna be like, no, you can't go in there. Or maybe she will, and then I'll agree again. Hmm. This poses an issue. Okay, so this was her lab. We have no reason to go here. So let's explore outside, I think, is probably the next place to explore. Because we have two more. We have the ocarina. Let's see if we can go outside. My estimation is that it's outside. If not... Yeah, we can. Great. Where could the ocarina go and where could... Oh, wait, 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 I know. Oh, there are fewer plants around here. Some places have been renovated as well. What it is? It is a lot... They did say there are construction. I suppose construction is ongoing, but where exactly is this can be built? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex this large and secret? I've seen a cityscape behind us. Just letting you know, um, Shuichi. I've seen a cityscape. There's my girl, how are ya? And there's my robot as well. Is this where the ocarina goes? Um, that item received earlier, uh, received earlier, I think we can use on the stone monument. Can you try? So this is where the ocarina goes, for sure. How is my girl? I can't believe what happened in the dining hall earlier. Males are so insensitive. I would never dare ask you what, uh, why you decided to remove your hat. That's fair. There's something that, uh, should be kept private between you and Kaede. Thank you. Thank you, Tenko. I also feel I must carry on Kaede's wish. Right. No matter what, we'll get out of here. I won't give up. Shuichi, don't ever conduct yourself in such a shameful manner ever again. Okay. Oh, yeah, I won't. She's fabulous! Guys, she's amazing! Like, legit an amazing character. Um, before we do that, I want to talk to... Oh, no, I guess that's another research area. Okay, let's use it on the stone monument here. So I guess the ocarina will go here. Oh, that was cool. The pool? Oh, we played a song. Mm -hmm. Ivy within a second, what remarkable huh? technology. We can get in. We can go in from there, right? Um, you intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. I mean, I'm intending to go inside. What do you think? No. no, it's dangerous. There's just a pool. It's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Huh? Pool? Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. 24 hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. Wonderful. wonderful explanation. Huh? Thank you. You stupid. I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. He killed him and it was funny. Ah ha ha. So long, farewell. It wasn't funny at the time, and now I'm laughing to make you guys upset. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going to go for a swim, are we? But, but if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It's never bad to have too much information. Right. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Let's go into the pool. You okay, Tenko? I mean, we don't have to go in if you don't want to. But I think it's... Oh my god, I have flashbacks to the pool in the, pre, in, in the first game. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool or resort, for sure. There isn't much of a water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Wow! I've always dreamed of a swimming in a fancy pool. It's like some big shot celebrity. Um. Too bad I don't know how to swim. Then I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. I tri if I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even farther. Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here too. Uh -huh. Are you positive? Yes. Of course, there'd be no point of having a, the pool here otherwise. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's true. Um, so where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true, all the closets seem to contain his spare uniforms. Hmm. 
If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. How scandalous. They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access to. I don't really think that's a problem. Oh, I get it. You're the worst degenerates the only care about used swimsuits are the ones girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. She sticks to her guns, guys. She sticks to her character. I wonder if there's a day will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Keep. I was wondering, if you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you st would you be stuck living under the sea beneath the rock or in a pineapple? Oh, pineapple! Oh, that's a reference to that cartoon show on Nickelodeon, Rugrats. What? No. No, I believe that before you get too deep, your body will be crushed by the pressure. Stop. Please don't say such scary things, both of you. I'll never set foot on a boat. That is pretty terrifying. Like the idea of your of your body being crushed by pressure at all is scary. So we can look at the pool, I guess, first. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool or resort. There isn't much water in it. Diving board. I always wanted to jump off a diving board. It's a large diving board. There's also something you would find in a resort. Can we leave already? What is it? What's bothering you? What's bothering you? Pool rules? Some pool rules are posted here. They're just one that I find pe uh, peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime? Why? Oh god. Where are you guys? Get out of the water, you freaks. Derogatory. That's right, no one is allowed to swim during nighttime. It'd be terrible if someone died due to an accident, an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. I'm waiting to use the die in the killing game. You can take a visit, uh, you can visit the pool at nighttime, but even touching the water is against the rules. Well, I guess I'll add to, to the existing regulations just in case. School regulations have been updated. Anyway, why is the pool water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What are you saying? You got gaping holes in your ears and your eyes? Also, oh, don't want us to drown. There's enough water to swim. It only looks like a sh shallow because the pool is so deep. And some of more would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. So that's dead. They put a lot of thought into some strange things. One of an explanation, everyone. Monodam, what a great guy. I'm so happy to hear you say that. You Did you forget that you killed Mono Kid? You should eat his guts. And I like Monodam. Monodam, what a guy. <sighs> Screw Mono Kid, I always hated him. Monofane, you're starting to sound pretty cool too. Okay. He was violent, vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and a soft spot for abandoned kids. Hey. Why did it sound like praise near the end? So long. Farewell. So long, never come back. Wow. That's a new one. That they added new voice lines to that. Anyway, no swimming at nighttime. That's okay, I wasn't planning on swimming. There are also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each side and uh, each end, and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. Okay, that's, that's enough to swim. What else is bothering you? What else is bothering you here? There's a window up here. Is that what you're at? Gym window. Why? That window must be the gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard for a school to have uh, the gym and pool area near each other. Right. But I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? Uh, um, I don't know. It's cool that she takes an interest in like kind of the more sporty aspects of uh, the gym, and not like you know. Uh, I guess she's. Um, how do I say it? Like she's worried more about the specifications of the gym, rather than the fact that there is a gym. Like, she's thinking about the, the, the convenience side of it. Uh, this looks more like a storage room. I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in here. It's fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. Perhaps I can flow in water and inflate them and attach them all over my body. Oh, we can do that for you, buddy, of course. I think you would look like a the entire company's mascot. I'm, I'm willing to do that for our boy. What is, what is this bothering you? I, I, is that not everything? Oh, there's another window here. The window must be the one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but the window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? There, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? Um, I hear the general males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. Mm -hmm. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear, over our panties that we wear over our privates. Male. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of general males? Tango, you speak your truth, girl. No. You keep saying it. I think you may be overreacting a little bit. Oh, Kiba, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. You know what, Ki Kiba? 
Kibo, you do whatever you want. Really how interesting. I suppose I did just assume he was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... I suppose this is all the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. Kibo, you can be whatever you want to be. You figured it out in your own time. For sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. There's a lot of exploring to do in this game. I think that for sure they knew this was going to be like a big chunky game. Uh, in the next one, we're going to be heading over here, which I think is where the crank is going to be used. Um, so we're going to be talking to Kaito, our favorite character. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye. Hey, yo. T.Y. Fire. Jamie Bull. Thanks for being in the $15 tier. And thank you to the rest of my patrons 